Love Painting Peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone, guys. You know I'm happy you joined me here. What you saw earlier was me just prepping a reused canvas. What I did was I took my Artist Loft Black, mixed with a little bit of GAC 800, stirred it up, and brushed it all over the canvas. And then I turned the canvas so that the brush marks go this way. So what we're doing today is we're doing kind of a dry swipe, a swipe on an unflooded base coat. And I'm kind of excited about it. We've got um, some yummy colors to talk about. In this cup right here, we have some more of the Artist Loft Black. One of my favorite colors, golden acrylics, iridescent copper. And this is not the fluid paint, so it's a little heavier and it took a little bit more mixing than my fluid copper does. But look at how shiny, shimmery. That's just pure goodness right there, guys. This cup right here is Arteza, and this is the bronze. Nice color. I'm partial to my golden bronze a little bit more than this, but it's still, these Arteza paints are very, very nice, guys. This is one of my new favorites. This is Arteza Deep Brown. And I just got this in the mail today. I love my golden iridescent uh, fluid pearl, but this is pearl white by Arteza. So I figured we'd give that a little bit of a go as well. Now, I am out of Floetrol. I haven't been able to find Floetrol, although I'm supposed to get a delivery from Lowe's today and I'm anxiously awaiting it because I have a four foot by five foot canvas that I am going to try to tackle for my own home. And I hope I can videotape it. I'm going to have to put my camera um, up on a ladder, guys. <laughs> but I will do my best to show you what I'm doing it. I'm doing it for my own home. Um, what else? Oh, pouring medium today. Out of flow trawl. So what I did in each one of my cups, I put probably about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of GAC 800 by Golden. And then I added my paints, stirred it up till it mixed up real nicely, and then I slowly started to add some of my mix pour and then check the thickness and the consistency. And at that point, I add a squirt at a, a, squirt at a time of water. And each one of these took about three or four squirts to get it down to the consistency I was hoping for. Now, it's a little bit thicker than my swiping uh, paints and my swiping pouring medium that I like, which is 50% Floetrol, 50% Golden GAC 800. And I usually use Golden Fluid Paints when I swipe because they work so well for me. But because we're working on a bit of a dry canvas here, semi-dry canvas, I thought maybe if my paints were a little bit thicker, I could get a really good drag out of them. My paper towels are going to be my swiping tool of choice. Now what I do, guys, is I just layer a whole bunch of paper towels down. I take my squeeze bottle and I squeeze the bottom inch of water, flip them over, squeeze the other side, and I just keep them stacked right next to me with a pair of scissors. And as I need to adjust the size of my swipe, I cut the paper towel to the, to the appropriate size that I'm hoping for. What else? Oh, I wanted to show you a piece of art. I haven't released the video. It was done uh, yesterday and I'm really digging on it. It's a black and white and I got very little gray and I love the movement. Movement. It took me a while to get it to where I wanted it to be, but you know what guys, don't give up on those paints. Sometimes when you're looking at something you think, oh my gosh, the stars are not aligned here. Stare at it. Think about it. And uh, maybe, usually, something will come to mind. So let me grab that painting for you. Whoop. Still got a cup attached to the side. 
but I am very, very fond of this. You all know if you've been watching me for a while how much I love my negative space. Now, when I did this ring pour, it's actually a multiple ring pour, most of my paint covered the majority of this canvas. So what I did was I took my base coat color, the white, which is Artist Loft White, and I added it to areas that I wanted to add more negative space to. And I tilted it and pushed that base coat into the colors and created more negative space here. I'll get the video up and running here in the next day or two, but uh, I'm digging on this black and white. It actually goes um, vertical, but I can't show it to you that way because it's too long. Let me put it back. Well, guys, I think we're ready to rock and roll. I'm going to put some music on for you, put some music on for me, and we're going to get busy, guys. Thanks for joining me.
precious to me so you just have to do without here's something you can think about you play me good